Are you looking to generate high quality leads for your business? Then this is the video for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you the best ways to generate leads for your business through Google ads. Now to start off, we should define what a lead is. And a lead is someone who is interested in purchasing your product or service. And there are many different types of leads in Google ads, some more valuable than others. There are email leads, phone call leads, chatbot leads, and many more. Now, just because we have all these options doesn't mean we should use all of them because surprisingly enough, the spray and pray method doesn't work all that well inside Google ads. And this is especially true if you don't have a massive budget. What we need to do is really zone in on our most profitable leads. Now for service-based businesses, the best type of lead you can get is generally a phone call lead. And the reason for this is because you actually have someone on the other end of the line ready to talk to you. And they're generally easier to close and lead to more sales. And this is really nice. They also don't take as much time, which is really, really nice. So that's what we're going to be aiming for in this tutorial. How do we get as many phone call leads for our business as possible? Now, there are two types of campaigns that we should consider. And by the way, there are other campaigns out there. There's, you know, remarketing campaigns, display campaigns, video campaigns, etc. But for someone who's new to Google ads, what you want to do is really get a profitable campaign running first, and then you can move on to other campaigns and expand later if the budget allows for it. What a lot of companies do is they have 30 different campaigns running. They got display campaigns, remarketing campaigns, call only ads campaigns. They got actually, no, they normally don't run call only ads. They, they'll run search campaigns, display campaigns, YouTube video campaigns. They generally stay away from call only campaigns just because it's a little different. And it's kind of one of those intricate details. But nonetheless, I digress. What we recommend is actually having a campaign that is running well, I would personally prefer one campaign that is running absolutely amazing as opposed to 20 campaigns that are running terribly. And so many companies do this where they just have so many campaigns and they just waste a ton of money because they're not able to optimize any of these campaigns because their money is going in so many different directions and they're only getting a couple clicks in every single campaign. This is something you really need to be careful. You need to really zone in when it comes to Google ads, figure out your most profitable product and service, and then double down on it. You don't want to go in 20 different directions because if you go in 20 different directions, you're not going to be able to optimize your account. Your money is going to be so dispersed in every single direction that you're just not going to to be able to optimize any of these accounts. You're not going to be able to find good keywords, good ads. It's just going to be such a pain and make your life so much more miserable. If you choose to have 37 different campaigns all at once, have one campaign, maybe two campaigns at the start, you really want to keep it basic, make sure you figure out whether Google ads is profitable for you at the beginning, rather than six months down the road when you've spent, you know, $100,000 in ad spend, and you're like, Oh, well, actually, Google ads isn't right for us, figure this out on the small scale at the beginning, then move on and build out further campaigns, and you can up your ad budget as well. So the first campaign we want to use is called a call only campaign. And this is a campaign that allows you to run ads that do one thing, allow the user to call you. And that's it. These ads are easy to create, don't require a ton of conversion tracking to set up, and they produce excellent results if set up correctly. Now, it is important to note, Google Ads does generally charge a premium for these ads, and you can expect to pay more per click because of that. But because these ads are used so little by most companies in general, they generally aren't crazy expensive in most industries. Now, what does a call only ad look like? Where does it show up and how do we create them? And this is what a call ad looks like. And it shows up only on mobile phones, which is really nice because it allows users to call you quickly by simply tapping on your ad. These call ads are often confused with call extensions, which look like this. So please note these two things are very different. Call ads are standalone ads, whereas call extensions are a possible extension of a search ad. If you're interested in creating a call ad campaign, I've created an entire tutorial to show you how to make them from start to finish. I'll link that above. We also have a call only ads course if you are interested in learning how to optimize them even further. Now some important things to note about call only ads, like any Google ads campaign, it needs to be optimized. A lot of people just want to set it and forget it. And this method will generally lose you quite a bit of money inside Google ads. So do yourself a favor, watch our Google ads optimization video and pick up the checklist. It shows you what to do on a weekly, monthly and three month basis. And yes, it's meant for a general search campaign, but almost everything in it is applicable to a call only campaign. It should help you out quite a bit and allow you to rapidly improve your account and see better results. Another important thing to note is not every click will be a call. A lot of people get confused by this because they think someone clicked on my ad, therefore I should get a call. And some people will just click on your ad by accident. Some people will change their mind. They don't want to call you anymore. And really what you should aim for is a 20 to 40% conversion rate for call ads. 
This means that out of 10 clicks, you're going to get two to four people who call you. Now, what is our second campaign that we can use to generate leads? And that is a search campaign dedicated to phone call leads. Now, this is what a search ad looks like. They're very similar to call only ads. However, on this ad, your extensions are able to pop up. So you can have call extensions, you can have site link extensions, there's a lot of different extensions you can have. And I would highly recommend making all of these extensions, at least the relevant ones for your campaign. This will allow your ads to show up more often generally have higher quality scores, get a lower cost per click, get more leads and have more account success. The main difference, however, between these ads and a call ad is when someone clicks on this ad, they actually are directed to either your website or your landing page. Now, this is very important when it comes to actually trying to figure out how to get phone calls. Because if you have a website that's not optimized for phone calls, you're going to have a lot of issues. So that's why I recommend designing out a basic landing page that just has one call to action. I'll get into that in a second. But really, what this ad does is we're going to only go after mobile traffic. And we're going to try and get as many phone calls from this mobile traffic as possible and further capitalize on phone call leads. What a lot of companies and agencies and people inside Google Ads do is they'll run one type of ad and that's not always your best bet. Sometimes it's actually to mix and match. And just because you're running one campaign doesn't mean you can't capitalize on the same type of lead. And because we want mobile traffic, we want phone calls. What we can do is not only run Google call ads, so it's just a normal call ad, but we can also capitalize on people through search that also want to call. And it's just another way of gathering phone calls It's a great way of just doubling down and doubling up on actually getting more and more phone calls. A lot of people overlook this having call only ads and search ads that are just operating to bring in even more phone call leads is a really good strategy for getting your phone ringing inside your business. Now how this works is you can reduce traffic from tablets and computers to zero. It's really easy to do. All you have to do is add a negative bid modifier and you won't receive any unwanted traffic. And the reason for this is because we really only want phone calls and generally the best way to get phone calls is from mobile traffic, also known as people on their phones. Not always you can AB test this, but generally this is a very good principle to follow. Mobile traffic tends to produce more phone calls than computer traffic or tablet ta traffic. So what I would suggest for this campaign is running all your traffic to a mobile optimized landing page that only has one conversion action, which is to call meaning on your landing page. The only thing people can do is actually call you. This helps with weeding out a lot of the time wasters who just want to fill out a form and also improves conversion rate because you'll only have one call to action instead of 50, uh, which is kind of nice. These landing pages are pretty easy to design. You have to have your headline reasons to buy calls to action and your call to action is your phone number. So that's what that is. You can also add in more about your company and social proof down below. But basically, you want to keep this landing page as simple as possible. I would recommend using a software like landing lead to host your landing pages. It's cheap, easy to use and the landing pages load very quickly. So you can convert as much traffic as humanly possible. It's my favorite landing page by far for people who are brand new to Google ads, just because it's super easy to use and really cheap. Our affiliate link for landing Lee is down below. If you are interested, the money does go to supporting the channel so we can make more videos. So if you choose to use it, we do really appreciate it. But if you choose not to use it, it is what it is. Much like the call ads, this campaign isn't super complicated to set up. And we have an entire tutorial on how to set up a search campaign properly. You'll have to go in and adjust the search traffic for only mobile devices. But other than that, the tutorial is perfect for this campaign setup. So if you're interested in checking that out, I'll also link it up below. Now with search campaigns, it's important to note that they are more complicated and do require more time to set up and optimize than a regular call only ads campaign, but in our experience tend to produce better results. So that's the main trade off with this lead generation campaign. One thing I would recommend for both campaigns is using a service like CallRail. It allows you to easily track all these phone calls as well as easily import all the data into Google ads, which will allow Google's artificial intelligence to optimize for lead generation, which will allow your account to produce much better results. Now, if you're just going to run a call ads campaign only CallRail isn't as necessary, but if you are going to use a search campaign that is directing traffic to a mobile landing page, I highly recommend getting call tracking. Uh, it's really difficult to do it otherwise. Can you do it through Google Tag Manager? Absolutely, you can, but it's not as accurate as CallRail. And I really do think it is a worthwhile investment for a Google Ads campaign. Another thing I should let you know when creating either one of these campaigns in a new Google Ads account, your ads will take anywhere from 24 to 48 hours to actually be approved. 
and then start being shown and actively advertised. It's a very quick process, but some people get confused when they don't get results instantly. So please keep that in mind when you start a new campaign. Uh, it does take a little bit of time to actually approve these ads, just so you're not advertising anything you shouldn't be. Now, like I said before, both these lead generation campaigns need to be optimized to produce good results. So I'd highly recommend getting yourself the Google Ads optimization checklist. It's completely free and the link for it is down below. It will improve your campaign substantially and make your life a lot easier. Now, if you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps our channel grow, allows us to produce even more content, and I personally would really appreciate it. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, though, you guys have a wonderful day and take care. I wish you all well.